coronavirus. Coronavirus. The coronavirus. The coronavirus officially hitting the U.S. The death toll climbing once again overnight. What we know is that it's spreading. The number of infected exploded over the weekend. Health officials say this strain of the coronavirus has been spread to humans through exposure in handling of animals at the market. The sickness that started in their city has seeped out. The infection rates rocketing 50%. Breaking details about the ninth confirmed case in the U.S. The United States has announced that foreign citizens who've been in China in the past 14 days will be temporarily barred from entering the U.S. The future of the people of China, and not only of Asia, but of the world, could be at stake here. Coronaviruses are actually a family of viruses, and several of them cause about 10% of the common colds that we see. What we're seeing in China right now is the emergence of a new strain that we haven't seen in humans before. And so we don't know how transmissible this is yet or how deadly this is going to be. In terms of the people in the United States right now, the overall risk is low. So if you're going to worry about a disease during this season, I would worry more about flu than I would about the new coronavirus at this point. They've used it in the past for flu patients, but now they're using it to determine if someone might have the coronavirus. So a lot of people don't wash their hands properly. We do recommend that you wash with soap and water for at least 20 seconds, which is about singing happy birthday twice, to make sure that you're doing effective hand washing and removing the germs that are on your hands to the extent you can. And that's going to be more helpful for the otherwise healthy person for preventing others and themselves from getting sick. But it does make sense if people are sick to wear a mask to try to help decrease that risk to other people. If the population is wearing a lot of masks, I think it does potentially add to that culture of fear around these outbreaks that people worry, should I be wearing a mask as well? So surgical masks don't form a tight seal on your face. And what that means is that you're still getting air that's going around the sides. And so you could still potentially get exposed to an infection that's going around in these air droplets. The chance that that mask is going to prevent you from getting sick is pretty low. There have been a little bit over 7,000 cases in China. Putting that in context, there are over 1.3 billion people who live in China. So this is still a very small percentage of the population who has infection at this point. It's very hard to identify who's potentially sick because we live in an international world. We live in a world where people travel a lot. So I don't think that this is a reason that we should try to stay away from certain populations in the United States or try to profile people based off of how they look because we don't know who just got off a plane and that can be somebody who looks any different way. That the best thing that we can do is try to avoid people who are actively sick. Panic doesn't help anything. What we need to do is be precautious, get information as best we can, Vaccines are trying to be developed very rapidly and move into trials much faster than we've seen with diseases in the past. So I think there's a lot of reasons to be hopeful. And as we get more information, we'll go from there.